Today I'm gonna to show you how to install this blue light across the air vent of your Model 3. Uh, the products that are used in this are in the description of the video below. Thanks. Okay, so for parts we have 10 feet of 24 gauge silicon wiring. This is used to extend the power cable here uh, so that can be routed through the center console all the way to the uh, vehicle and um, the air vents. Uh, then we have uh, heavy duty clear mounting tape. I believe this is rated for 30 pounds. Um, we've got two meters of blue EL tape. Um, they come connected, but I've already cut this length here to 46 inches for reasons that I will show you inside the car. And then I also have uh, the USB powered inverter and power plug. These are separated, so if you don't want to have uh, a switch to turn it on and off, you don't need to use it. And then finally, we have a cigarette lighter to USB plug adapter. When you get your EL tape, both ends of the tape itself come with a power plug. Now, like I said, you want to cut this to 46 inches across. And it's very simple to do so. You just take your scissors and you cut it, and that's all you need to do. Um, they do say that you should seal the end that is cut with some black electrical tape or any color you want. But obviously, since this is going into the air vent, uh, black is probably the best. Um, the other thing that you're going to want to do is uh, you cut these power cables here, um, strip both ends, and then lengthen them with the silicon power so that you can use the same plug all the way through to the inverter. Uh, that's what this kind of looks like here. You can see here is where I've separated the two wires. I then stripped both ends of the silicon wire and the existing wiring from the EL tape. Um, soldered them together, twisted them, covered them with electrical tape so that they're nice and sealed. Um, and this will give me some very nice malleable uh, cabling to route through the car. The reason I chose the silicon is because it's very, very bendy and it's not rigid and it's very easy to route through. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the double-sided tape to the back side, which is the white side here, of the EL tape. Um, the one that you order off uh, eBay does not have any uh, adhesive on the back, um, which is probably for the best because it's probably going to be pretty weak. Like I said, this is some stronger adhesive, so I'm just going to add this to the end here. You just paste it down flat and then we'll move to the car to put it in. So here you can see we put the double-sided tape onto the... EL tape. It's not perfectly straight, but that's okay because it's not going to be seen. Um, let's move into the car to put it in now. Well, here we are inside the car. Obviously, we're going to be going all the way across this vent to the other side to install the tape. Uh, a couple things to notice. Inside the air vent on each side, there is a very hard knock right here. Now, I said 46 inches. That's knock to knock. So you'll notice there's a little bit of extra room here where there won't be any illumination, but that's okay because we're going to be routing our cabling through there, out the passenger side, underneath, and then around, and then under here, all the way to the back where the cigarette lighter port is. So what you want to do is you want to take the side with the power cable still connected, and that's going to be on <clears throat> the passenger side going out, and then we're going to route this all the way through uh, to the other end by taking off the sticky tape and putting it on the underside lip right here of the top plastic piece of your air vent. Now there are no obstructions along this top lip. You don't have to get it perfectly straight but there is a little bit of a seam, I don't know if you can see it on the camera here, where the rubber plastic meets the rest of the vehicle where the air comes out. Obviously, you don't want to obstruct the airflow at all, so that's why the lowest profile sticky tape you can get is the best. And it'll just go along the top all the way to the other knock. So I'm going to install that now, and then I'll show you how to route the cables. See here, I've got it most of the way through. I'm just going to try to show you the last little bit. Um, you just want to try to go piece by piece, bit by bit, and just put it up and it will stick to the top really simply and that's really all you need to do so i'll just finish up this last piece this will go to that final knock there on the end and then i'll show you how to do the wiring you can see here the tape is now adhesed all the way across flat you just do it bit by bit uh, you might want to just run your finger through to make sure that it's fully in 
but uh, that's pretty much the installation of the tape itself. That's not going to budge at all now because like I said, this is like a 30 pound strength double sided tape. So it'll stay in there nice and clean. And like I said, if you use the clear one, you won't see any white or any foam or anything like that. The installed tape from the passenger side. Now you can see where the power cable is coming down from the knock. And then here are the wires. Now there is a gap right between the air vents here and the body of the dash where you can route the cable through. It's very easy. You literally just lift this a little bit and you route your cable through. Uh, and then where the rest of the dash meets the body, you can just route your cable right in there by pushing it in with your fingers. It's not super difficult and it gets completely hidden. Um, all you have to do is just a little bit of jigging, but there you go. See, it's already going in. You just do that all the way down across. It's really simple. Uh, if you've taped your wires like I have, just so that it's a little bit more manageable. Uh, hold on, there we go. Uh, it pushes in two and it becomes pretty much completely hidden. Uh, you can't see anything. You wrap that all the way down through the underside of the glove box, all the way back here um, behind the LED light, which I have a nice blue RPM Tesla light in there, all the way through back around to where we get to the center console trim. The cables all the way back here, uh, and you can basically just push them in with your fingers uh, to try to hide the cables as best as can. They'll fall back behind this uh, felt siding and you basically just bring it up all the way to here, which is your normal uh, molding piece for your center console. You can route these in by literally just pushing them in with your finger if you want. They'll stay in uh, the further you go back. If you move your passenger seat all the way back, you'll be able to detach the back side here where you can route your cable, cable underneath and then into your console here, which is where the cigarette port lighter is, cigarette lighter port is, and that's where you're going to put your USB adapter, which I've got right here. Plug this right in there, and then that's where you're going to plug in all your stuff. This pops right out. I've already done that. The cable now comes through here. You can route it a little bit further back if you want, so it comes through the very back so you don't see it very as much. And then from here, it's just plugging everything in and we'll give it a test. Okay, so now this is the inverter. Uh, this has the power plug and this is the other end of your power plug that you have extended obviously with the extra cables. So we are just going to put the two ends together and that will give us the connection to the car. It's a little dark in here right now because I've closed the garage and turned off all the lights. But in here I've just put all the excess cabling. There's probably about two feet of extra cable. Um, I've plugged in the inverter to this power switch. It basically gives me a toggle on and off. Uh, the EL wire is not super visible during the day, but at night it's pretty gorgeous, so I will show you that now, so click that on. Uh, you'll notice that there is a hum coming from the inverter. Um, I have heard that if you open the inverter and put like a resin in, it will stop the uh, sound from being audible. I'm sure there are some other uh, inverters that might do better than this, but this is the one that came with the um, EL tape. So for now, I'm just going to live with this hum, but I'm going to find a way to fix it because it is kind of annoying when there's no other sound in the car. So I've turned the wires on. We'll take a look at what it looks like here. So there is your nice uniform blue glow coming across the center console. Uh, mostly matches. It's a little bit lighter than the blue from RPM Tesla, but in person, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, I will turn the interior lights of the car in just so you can kind of see a little more. So here's what the lights on in the garage. All that you have to do now is put your center console thing back in, place it at the back, and there you go. It's a almost perfectly, completely hidden install. There's a little bit of a wire right there coming out, but I can live with that. You just close this right up, and there you are. Model 3 air vent blue light completely installed completely hidden thanks for watching